1997. <laughs> Star Fox 64. Star Fox 64. I don't know, guys, why I happen to have the Japanese version, but <laughs> there you have it. What is that supposed to be? What do you mean? What planet is that supposed to be? Oh, Carneria. Hmm. I know uh, nothing of Star Fox, by the way. Star Fox is called Corneria because it makes me think of the, the first town. The first Number one. Is called Corneria. <laughs> I, I have to suffer through the entire fucking cutscene because the first time you play it, you can't skip it. And I know there's no game audio for you guys, so I have an obvious question. Yes, in Japanese, Slippy still sounds like a girl. <laughs> I had a hard time playing this one day with the controller, mm. but it wasn't really because the controller. Part of it was because I wasn't used to the C buttons being on a stick, so I couldn't remember like the right combinations to make like the ship flip over and shit. Yeah. I don't know if you notice it, but doesn't the game seem very dark to you on the emulator? Yeah, it does. It just like, especially the second level, Sector Y, I was having a hard time seeing the enemies and shit. And, you know, add to that the fact that I was falling, you know, struggling with the controls and had a real hard time playing it. You sure, number one. <laughs> so this is Star Fox 64, man. When I was a kid, I played the shit out of this. I never played it. Really? Did you play any of the Star Fox games? Nope. No. I was a big Star Fox fan, but I don't have Command yet. <laughs> the one on the DS. I was never a big Star Fox fan. Like seriously, like if you find like a good DS game, it's in like some used pile buried under like a million copies of Yu-Gi-Oh games. Most likely. Like it took me forever to find like New Super Mario Brothers. You figured that they would have loads of that. Really? Mine was on the shelf. No, man. As a matter of fact, when, when Order of Ecclesia came out, um, I had a hard time finding it. Really? And it had just come out. It was like brand new, and I had a hard time finding it. That's yeah, dope. I had a hard time with the C stick. <laughs> Squeaky. Ah, oh, shush. <laughs> Checkpoint. I remember um, when I used to just buy games at Walmart and shit. Yeah. And, you know, Walmart, they, they don't have any kind of selection, you know. But I used to think that they had, like, a like a problem with Capcom. Why? Because they would have the Capcom games, but they would be, like, hidden. <laughs> like, I would, like, um, go, and you know how they have it, like, protected behind glass and shit? Yeah. Because they're too stupid to figure out what every other store does and just take the games out of the boxes. You know. Yeah. But, um, you know, you'd open up the, you'd have somebody open it up and then, like, to get some other game. And then you'd find, like, some games, like, tucked away behind things. And it would always be, like, something like Mega Man or Street Fighter or something. <laughs> I never saw that. Final Fight 1. There's always some Capcom game. Easy for Game Boy Advance. Falco is just a giant F. <laughs> Exclamation mark. <laughs> That's one thing I understand, folks. Yeah, right. Exclamation mark! Whatever he's saying, he's saying it very loudly. Exclamation mark! <laughs> also, numbers you understand, too, whenever they say something with a number. Hit plus two. Yeah, for some reason that's in English. Hit is in English. You know Exclamation mark, question mark! At the beginning. I'll see, finally I figured out how to do the loop with the controller. And I smashed the enemy. Exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point, exclamation point. Shut up, Slippy. <laughs> kind of a funny name, don't you think? Slippy? Yeah, dude, he's... There's some innuendos there. Yeah. Do you ever see, do you ever read Penny Arcade? Uh, I have before, yeah. Did you 
You ever see the one they did about Slippy? No. Well, it's like Gabe is in bed, and like the, the, the Star Fox style uh, dialogue box pops up on the bottom, and it's like Slippy. And he's like, Gabe, I need your help. I'm in real trouble here. And he's like, God damn it, Slippy, I was sleeping. What do you want? And he's like, I kissed a boy. Does that make me gay? Yes. And he's like, well, not necessarily. I mean, I'm sure lots of young men or frogs have done, you know, experimenting. So I don't think that makes you gay. And then Slippy's like, after that, we fucked in a barn for hours. <laughs> <laughs> you see the look on Gabe's face. It's just priceless. <laughs> I'll just see if I can find that for you. I know we're supposed to be watching the video. There's not much going on right now. That would make you gay. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely make That would make you very gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in a barn for hours. Oh, wow, I found that real fast. I'm, I'm gonna send you the, oh, the link as soon as I get a version of it that's not tiny. <laughs> that is tiny. Why? Alright, let me find a version of it that's not why? Like, itty bitty tiny bikini. What's with the random whys? Number two, exclamation marks! Equestrian mark, exclamation points! Now I can't find it. I found a really tiny version. Now I can't find it. Maybe I'll just go to Penny Arcade and search. You're gonna be like, you're supposed to be commentating on the game, you're talking about fucking Penny Arcade. We never seem to talk about the game. Well, they talk about Kirby a lot. Yeah, but that wasn't exactly that game. True, 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 true. Well, you know, that's, that's the nature of the commentary. How much can you really say about Star Fox? It's fucking Star Fox. I mean, there's Star Fox, and then there's Star Fox 64, which is like Star Fox with better graphics. <laughs> and then there's Star Fox Assault, which is like Star Fox with even better graphics. It's like, how much can you really say about it? It's you're, you're in a plane shooting shit. And that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Does Falco, like, always die, Falco? I, I, I can't find anything. Oh, well. I'll find a few more, babe. <sighs> okay. After that, we fucked in the barn for hours. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, Flippy, that kind of makes you really gay. <laughs> but to join the Rainbow Alliance there. See how dark it is? I was having a hard time seeing shit. I think it's just the emulator. Because I know the game was not nearly this dark and black and shit. Now I'm just mashing buttons because I can't remember how to do the damn flip around thing. <laughs> I really liked uh, Star Fox Assault. That was a good game. What system they made that Star on? Fox Adventures on the GameCube, and it was like a Zelda game, but you played as Fox. It was weird. Yeah, I think my friend had that. It has like nothing at all to do with Star Fox. I mean, it has the same story. You, you do fight in the plane at the end. But basically, I mean, it's, it's basically like a Zelda game. <laughs> it did have really good graphics. Giant robot. Hmm. Well, this is about the end of the video. I don't think I fight the boss. I think I get right to where it is and then I said, fuck it. Well, you're practically dead there. Yeah, I, I probably knew I wasn't going to be able to beat him, so I was just like, fuck it. Well, look, you should be dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost there. I don't die, but I come close to it. I'm about to get a little bit of life here because they gold ring. Maybe that's helpful. Hooray! And there's another gold ring. <laughs> Smart bomb, throw it at everybody. <laughs> Alright, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.
Later. Bye bye.